I don't know how much damage Heavy Slam will do. I think I'm better off just going for Body Press, even though it's resisted here. It just one-shots him. It just one-shots him. Get out of here. Stellar Terra Deoxys, get out. I didn't think that was going to one-shot him at all. That movie do like 50% to him. Get out of here. What is up, everybody? Back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Regulation F VGC. We got a really cool team today. This team actually has Registeel and Galvantula. Both of these mods got added with the DLC, the Indigo Disc. Um, I was actually somebody that was actually really hyping and gassing up Galvantula because I thought it was going to be really good uh, going into the DLC. And then we got the announcement of all the like the restricted Paradox Pokemon and everything being legal. And that kind of shit on like any type of plan that Galvantula had to be at least viable or used somewhat as well. So mainly Raging Bolt kind of shut those plans down because it's just a way better electric type. So, But I, I saw this team and I, I saw Galvantula, even like the writer still on this team, I knew I had to kind of feature this team for you guys. So it's a team around those type of things. It's by uh, Crusadea. I think we actually featured their team, a few of their teams in the past, like a few months back. Um, just a really solid team, but it always makes some really fun teams. Uh, I'm going to break this team down real quick, and then we're going to hop in some games. Uh, got the Registeel. We got the Clear Body Leftovers with the Heavy Slam, Body Press, Iron Defense, which is kind of a really unique set with the Terra Fairy. Uh, I think this thing's going to be a real threat, especially if like your opponent can't shut this thing down. You can't get intimidated. You can't get your stats lowered, which is huge. And especially if they have nothing to really deal with this thing. The, the Fighting and the Steel Stab is also a really solid combination so you got the focus sash compound eyes galvantula with those almost 100 percent accurate thunder so just kind of cool almost 100 percent accurate thunder wave and they got the sticky web there which is kind of cool um i think galvantula could be really good but like i said they un announced all the paradox pokemon and they brought a bunch of new stuff to the game and uh i think if galvantula was in the game at the start of scarlet and violet back in like from like regulation A to like regulation maybe like B or C, maybe D, it have a lot more play, but just the wrong place, wrong time, unfortunately. Even though I do think it's a really solid mon. It, it's a lot better in singles right now, though, if you want to really use it. I've um, got the AV Entei, kind of a standard set with the Terra Normal E speed. Uh, Terra Dragon standard Incineroar, along with the Latias Rocky Helmet standard set. This one actually has Heal Pulse, which is kind of unique, but apart from that, it's pretty standard. And then Terra Poison, Life Orb, Sheer Force, Land, or I, kind of a standard set. So I was hopping some games with the team. I don't want to waste any more guys' time. All right, we're here with game number one. One thing I forgot to mention too is that the the, the Pokey Paste is for this team will also be in the description at the bottom of the description if you guys want to use this team on Showdown. My opponent's running the Gouging Fire, Fluttermane, Landris T, King Gambit, Suicune, and Rillaboom. So, gonna be a really scary team. I think the Galvantula, at least for a lead, the, a lead here, the Galvantula is solid. I can Thunder Wave a lot of his team. I outspeed about half of his team. The only unfortunate thing with this Galvantula, though, is I don't have a bug type move, which is kind of one of the complaints for this Galvantula. At least in the testing games I did, there was a lot of matches where I was going against grass types that I was completely walled by. Just because I never had bug buzz or like any type of bug move to even do anything. So that's my I think one of my only complaints going into this with the Galvantula. I think instead of the Thunder Wave, I would rather have the the bug type move or even like Sticky Web. I'm gonna try to set up Sticky Web here, which could be pretty good. As long as it doesn't bring King Gambit, at least. I'm gonna bring the Laudius mainly for the gouging fire. I can tear out that thing and I can put in work. Actually, I think what I do here is I bring Lando. Lando looks really good here. I'll bring the Landorus. I'll bring the Registeel. Oh, it's, it decided for me. It decided for me because I wasn't paying attention to the timer. Another match where I wish we had longer time to prepare, but we only get a minute and a half or whatever it is, which isn't nearly enough. Especially trying to record and talk at the same time. It goes way faster than it usually is supposed to. He just leads with the Gouging Fire and the Suicune. Uh, this isn't what I wanted. This is not the lead I wanted. I wanted to lead with the Galvantula. Imagine if I would have had Galvantula here. Man, that would have been good. What, what did it even bring for me? Like, what monster did it even bring? It brought the Incineroar. I didn't want the Incineroar. I didn't want that. 
That's no good. And now I got a mod on my team that didn't watch. And I want the Landris. I wanted the Landris. Where's the Landris? Holy shit, imagine if I had Gale go Vanch the Landris here. That would have been so good. That's what I wanted. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. I love having putting being set back in a match because the game chooses for me. It's great. I'm an iron defense here. I don't care. We're gonna try to YOLO. I'm I'm I am a assault vest here, so like I can maybe try to do something, but I'm gonna stomping tantrum and see how much damage it does. He's probably he actually is breaking swipe. That does nothing. How does he outspeed me is what I'm wondering. Unless he's Scarf. Is he really Scarf Gouging Fire? I don't know. Scald. It's fine. As long as you don't burn me, I'm fine. I get I get to plus two. As long as he doesn't burn me, I'm good. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to Snarl. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for Iron Defense again. I'm going to go for Iron Defense, and I think I just Snarl on this turn, because Stomping Tantrum didn't do shit last time, so... He's going to keep trying to lower my attack. I think he's, what he's going to try to do is just fish for a burn. I don't know why he's just not targeting down the Ante. I miss. I miss the fire. He's going to try. He's just fishing for a burn. He's going to get it. Watch. He's going to get it. There he is. There's the burn. There's the burn. He doesn't want me to win. I mean, technically, if you use it twice, that's a 60% chance to get a burn off Scald. So, like, the odds are in his favor anyways, but still. Kind of, it's really bad, too, because it negates my leftovers. My leftovers get negated by that now. I have two options here. Like, I think I'm at, like, minus two... I'm at I'm at plus four defense, but I guess I guess clear body. I forgot about clear body. That doesn't do anything. So I guess technically I'm at minus two, but I'm at plus four defense. So body press should still be doing a solid amount of damage. So I'm gonna try to get rid of the sweet coon and we'll start going for damage here. I just don't know if the the gouging fire is choice scarfed. I want to see if he can try to switch up a move still. So I'm just gonna snarl again for damage. He's gonna withdraw. What do you have? What are you going out and do? Lander is to get the Intimidate off. That doesn't work, because I'm clear body, though. And I'm at plus four. Like, an Earthquake at plus four. I don't know if you can break through that, but... He's not Scarf. Now he's going to try to set up on me. That's not happening. You can't do that. Which a body press does. It does nothing. That legit does nothing. That is at plus four. Thanks for the burn. I really appreciate it. Imagine if I wasn't burned, that would probably have been like a two-hit kill. Burn just fucked us over so bad this game. I guess the game also did too, because this is not the lead I wanted. If I, if I would have had the Galvantula and like Landorus Eye lead here, I would have been in such a good spot. I would have been able to click Thunder turn one, and I would have been able to click... Uh, a ground move turn one and like probably one shot the gouging fire turn one. That would have been crazy. I don't know. I make an iron defense again, but I don't really still see why. I think I just go after the gouging fire now. I'm gonna try to sacred fire into the landers and see if he's scarfed. Breaking swipe, he's gonna just keep lowering my attack. Dante is pretty much useless at this point, anyways. Uh, he might actually be Scarf Landers. See, I outsped the Entei, so he might actually be Scarf. Can I get a burn now? Good. So now we're, we're even for burns. That's fine. How much this does? That does, and eh, not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. The, the shitty thing is, though, I'm, like, I'm kind of screwed here because I have to kind of start going for damage. Because I'm just losing health. I don't think I can really eat much more. Like, I, I can eat another Stomping Tantrum, but at that point, like, I'm almost dead on the next turn anyways, so... I kind of just... I'm forced to go for damage here, unfortunately. I'm gonna double into the... The Gouging Fire here. Because I think the Entei is dropping this turn. He's gonna Terra, okay. 
I just want the Entei gone. I want him to kill the Entei so I can get a free switch into the Latius or whatever else I have. He's Terra Fairy, whatever. That's fine by me, I don't care. What does that do? You know, as long as he doesn't go for Burning Ball work, I'm fine. Heat Crash, how much does that do to me? It does nothing. That does 30 damage. He is just going after, he's going after the Registry and it's just eating everything this guy wants to throw at me. He's just eating at everything. I'm eating a Stomping Tantrum from Landorus. I'm eating super effective fire moves. Let the Reggie still just doesn't fucking die. This sucks that I'm burned, because if I wasn't burned, I uh, would have got like probably two kills under my belt already. Yeah, these two mods would, would have been gone. I mean, I have Heavy Slam. I can go for Heavy Slam here if I really want to. I think I'm just going to E speed. Gouging Fire. I'm just going to double into the Gouging Fire again. He's going to go for Ball Work. Of course he is. Of course. And it doesn't matter, though, because I'm already burned. So that's why I kind of just went for Double into it. Finally, he gets rid of the Entei. I have just been trying to get him to kill the Entei the entire time. Entei doesn't do anything now that's like in minus four or whatever. I just wish I would have heavy slammed the land risk. I think that maybe would have killed him. Or at least brought him down to the point where a burn would have took him out. I have a few options here, though. I just gotta be kind of careful because the gouging fire is at plus one. So at plus one, I'm assuming he might actually outspeed the... the Galvantula. I just wish I had... Imagine if I had a... Uh, Landorus Eye here. Holy shit, that it would have been so good. Landorus Eye would have been so good here. He wouldn't have been able to hit me with ground moves with the Landorus. He would have been forced to, like, rock slide or go terra flying. I would have been able to probably one-shot the Gouging Fire. Uh, holy shit, it would have been so good. Thanks, game. Thanks for uh, fucking me over. Uh, it made it way more difficult for me. It really did. I'm gonna Heavy Slam here. I'm gonna Heavy Slam... Landorus, and then, uh, actually I think Body Press will do more, because I think Heavy Slam's affected by Burn. And then I'm gonna Fake out on this turn. And he's gonna withdraw. I don't know why he's withdrawing, though. Like, what does that even do versus me anymore? Gonna go into the Suicune, that's fine. He's Rocky Helmet, that's good to know. This is a minus one stomping tantrum that doesn't even bring me down to Sash, or down to Citrus. The burn will take him out on next turn, that's great. I'm glad I went for body press there instead of heavy slam. Heavy slam I don't think would have did anything. We can still win the game, it's just going to be really difficult. It just depends on his last two mods. Whatever his last mod is. We know he has the Gouging Fire, which is pretty much dead. I'm not really too worried about that, because he switched and he lost his speed from the Dragon Dance. So, we know his entire moveset now, too. He has the Gouging Fire. I don't know, I think I just body press. I, I really want to go after him, but I think he's just going to go for a uh, Burning Ball work here. So on the off chance he doesn't, I'm going to body press, and I think I'm just going to... I don't have to protect on this, unfortunately, but... I can parting shot out, but that breaks my focus sash on the Galvantula, which I don't want to do. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to knock off on the Suicune. He actually, yeah, he, it's going to go for breaking swipe. That sucks. He pops my Citrus, though. I think once he pops the Citrus, I should be able to live a Scald. Just depends on his build. Oh, he actually goes after the Reggie Steel. That sucks. That sucks. Does nothing. It is going to be a, a match of Galvantula versus the world. It really is. I, I think on this first turn, I actually protect here. I think I protect here. Expecting him to either protect the Suicune or protect the Gouging Fire. I think that's what I do here, and then I'm going to try to attack on this turn. I'm going to go, go after the Gouging Fire in case, on the off chance he doesn't protect. 
I, don't, I think I lose this game to, anyways, because I don't have the Landorus Eye. That's the main problem here. He's going to protect. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Heat Crash. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. I keep the Incinero around for one more turn. That, that's best case scenario. And he has no more Terra either, which is great. It just depends on what his last mon is right now, because I still have a Sash. I can one-shot Suicune. It just comes down to whatever his last mon is. Fucking damn it. Well, that's, that's no good. That's no good. That's probably the worst one. That's the worst option. I think what else on his team do you have? I think I have Flutter Main would actually been better, or Rillaboom. I guess I can't touch Rillaboom, though, so... Flutter Main would have been better, but... That's probably the worst one. I'm gonna Thunder here. His Compound Eye is boosted. So it should work. Actually, what am, am I Terra Grass? I think I'm Terra Grass. Yeah, I am. I don't know if Terra Grass really does anything here for me, though. Because the King Gam is just going to try to Sucker Punch. So I'm going to Thunder. And then I'll try to Flare Blitz, but I think he's going to try to go for Sucker Punch here. That doesn't even kill the Suicune. He lives. Wow. That's not, I lose. How the fuck did he live? Oh, he has Swords Dance, so I, I lose no matter what. That's what he's telling me. I don't know how the fuck he lived. How did he live that? I mean, I'm going to Thunder... Actually, he might actually go for Protect here. He might actually go for Protect. Do I make the 200 IQ play and predict him to go for, for Protect, and then him to just Sucker Punch me here? And then I just go for Thunder Wave. I think that's what I do. I, I lose anyways. I lose anyways here, so it doesn't matter. He never protected either, so I, I'm fucked. I lose. He has Snarl, so now there's no way I win. There's zero chance I win now. I guess maybe, technically, if I would have killed the Suicune there with a the Thunder, I would have still had my Sash. But even then, like, he, he still would have attacked me, but so he had Sucker Punch. It just come down if he had Sucker Punch or not. So I think I still lost there. I'm going to blame that one on the game fucking me over because I ran out of time at the start of the game to choose and it gave me fucking Incineroar when I did not want that. I wanted Landris Eye and I think if we had Landris Eye there, I would have 100% won the game. It one-shot the, the fucking King Gambit and it would have one-shot the Gouging Fire 100%. So that would have been two Mons off the, the bat like I would have been able to just get rid of. And then I had the Galvantula for the Suicune and then... The, I wouldn't have to really even worry about anything else, pretty much, so. And then the Landorus kind of got walled by the the Lando Eye anyways, because he'd have to either go for Rock Slide or, like, Terra Flying. He wouldn't even be able to touch me with ground moves, so. I don't know. Gotta love running out of time and then it picking you a bunch of random shit you don't want on your team. That's so fucking great. I wish the timer was way longer, at least, like, two minutes at the start of a game. That's unfortunate, but I'll... I don't know how many games I'll throw into this, but I'll see you guys in another match. All right, we're here with another game. My opponent is running the scummy shit on his team. He is just going all all out. De Deoxys, Zoroark, Garchomp, Salazzle, Darkrai, and Noivern. This is going to be a really annoying game. It's going to be one of those matches. I think what I do is I lead Incineroar. That's what I do here. It's I can fake out the Darkrai turn one if he somehow leads that, or if it's the Zoroark, that's fine too. And then I can try to just double up into it. Try to get, take it out turn one. I think I bring Registeel. If I can sit up with Registeel, it's really good here. I, apart from the Salazzle, it's really good. Landorus Eye is also really solid here. I don't know what I bring as my last Mon here, though. It's either Laudius, which he has a lot of dark types on his team, or I bring the Entei, I think. I don't think I bring the Galvantula here, unfortunately. Just doesn't really do anything, because I don't have a Bug-type move. That's kind of the main problem here. If I had, if I had like, Bug Buzz, it would have been a lot better, but I don't have a Bug-type move. I don't know. I, it's either Laudius or Entei, I'm not sure. I'm running out of time, so I gotta pick. So I'll pick Laudius, I guess. I think that's what we'll roll with. 
I don't want the game to choose for me again and then not get half my team that I wanted and then cause me to lose. Granted, that last game, that I think the Skull Burn there also really cost me. Because if I never got burned on the Registry, I would have done way more damage and I would have been able to kill a lot more stuff. So he leads with this. He leads with Double Dragon. I get the Intimidate off. Is this actually the Double Dragon or is this Zoroark? Not sure. I'm going to fake out here. I'm going to fake out the Garchomp and then I'm going to set up on this turn. I'm setting up an Iron Defense. Noivern can't do shit versus me. The best thing it has is probably Flamethrower and I should be able to eat that easy. So that's the Garchomp. That's not the Zoroark. So that's good to know. Air Slash does nothing. I get a free plus two boost here. That's great. So none of these are Zoroark. They're all the real thing. Zoroark doesn't get Air Slash. I think I just knock off here. I, I'll knock off the uh, Noivern here. I can maybe set up again. I don't know how much plus, at plus two an Earthquake will actually do to me, but I'm going to set up again. I have the Latius in the back with Heal Pulse, so if I can set up, I can put in the work here. Brings me down. Bring, as long as I don't flinch, that's the main thing here. He actually has Earthquake. See how much this actually does. It'll probably take out the Incineroar. I live. Knockoff is a two hit KO. That is uninvested knockoff. It does that much. Sharp beak boosted. Noivern's weak. It really is, unfortunately. Really cool Mon, but it, it's the only thing that it has that's really good is speed. I think it has like 97 special attack, which just ain't good enough anymore. It's not enough damage unless you run like a life orb or full out specs. Or like run like Terra Normal Boom Burst, which is like the only way it can actually do damage. Another Mon that kind of got power crept. Really it did. I don't know what I do here. I, I can switch out if I really want to out into Latias, but I think I just let the Incineroar drop here. I'll try to knock off the, the Garchomp. And then I'm going to body press the Noivern here. He has Draco. That does 15 damage. Come on now, bro. Okay, you got a crit. Wow, that crit matters. That crit matters so much. Wow, what a really bad crit on this turn. That's so bad. We're having really shitty luck tonight. We really are. Some really fucking awful luck. Because the Registry was set up to go, go to like pretty much probably sweep his team here. It really was. I'll go into Latias, but I don't think I outspeed Garchomp. I, I really don't. I don't know. If, does Heal Pulse go through Protect? I don't think it does. And plus he has Dark Rai, so I'm about to get double put to sleep here, and he's just going to try to sweep me that way. I'm going to try to Heal Pulse I, and see if it goes through Protect. I, I, hopefully it does. I don't, I'm not sure how that actually works, because I haven't used that in forever. I don't think it really matters, though, because the Dark Riot speeds me. And this Latias is not running any speed, I don't think, on this one. So I think he just outspeeds me and puts me to sleep. Dark Void, here we go. Here we go again. Please miss. He missed. Wow. Heal Pulse, I actually outspeed him. It doesn't work through Protect! Wow, that is so fucking dumb. That is so stupid. That is so dumb. Everybody's just targeting down the Reggie Seal. It's such a threat for them, I guess. They can't stand the Reggie Seal being here. That is so fucking dumb. Why does Heal Pulse not go through Protect? That is so fucking dumb. That is really fucking bad. It doesn't even make sense, like, logically. It really doesn't, because you're healing your own teammate. Technically, healing should go behind to protect, since it's actually a buff and it's nothing really bad. I, I don't know. I, that's really stupid how that works. I did not know how that works until now, but I found out the hard way, because now I'm probably going to get swept by Dark Void Darkrai. So that's going to be fun. I mean, I'll Ice Beam if I somehow live, but the Registry ain't living here. I'm about to get put to sleep. Something's going to bed. 
I get the double miss. The double miss. Is it meant to be? Is it meant to be? He's Sash. Or he's not even Sash. Wow, he actually lives that. I live. I live on 25. What an absolute champ. Do I one-shot Dark Rai? I do. Wow, what a play. That was probably the most perfect turn ever. You could not have asked for a better turn. Wow. The double Dark Void miss. What are the odds on that? Not, not really high. You, it's a 50 accuracy move. So, like, technically, if you land on two people, you're usually going to be landing it, like, at least one out of the two times on, on one person. So, I don't know how much it really matters, though. I actually outspeed the Garchomp, too, which is pretty good. Which is great to know here. I'm just going to protect. I, I don't know what he does. He's Terra. Okay. I mean, I have Landorus in the back, though. Just depends what Terra is. If he's Terra Psychic, he's Stellar Terra. That's scary. Like, what do you have for Latias, though, is the question. Because I don't know what you actually have for me. I, oh, he has Ice Beam. Never mind. I'm dead. I live. I live. How do I live? Stellar Terra boosted the offseason. I live. I did not think to live that at all. I know this might actually be game though, because now it's a it's a one v two. He can only unless he has. I think it's isn't cycle boost. Is that a a double hit move? I'm not sure. I think it's a single target move. I'm not a hard to sure. I've only really seen it in singles. I don't play against. I haven't played against the offseason forever, at least in VGC. So I'm not a hard to sure. I think what I do is I set up Tailwind. I set up the Tailwind here. I think it's Body Press. Uh, body Press at plus four should do a shit ton of damage. I don't know how much damage Heavy Slam will do. I think I'm better off just going for Body Press, even though it's resisted here. It just one-shots him. It just one-shots him. Get out of here. Stellar Terra Deoxys, get out. I didn't think that was going to one-shot him at all. That movie do like 50% to him. Get out of here. This guy just got absolutely fucking rolled by a Registeel. Granted, he it, he got some bad luck because of the, the double Dark Void miss. He didn't land a single Dark Void on me, which was really lucky, but even then... Wow, that's crazy. I don't know if I should title this video around the Galvantula or the Registeel. I'm not 100% sure because I feel like the Registeel, even in like my testing games... He's just been putting in way more work than the, the Galvantula actually has, which kind of sucks. But I'll probably throw one more video or one more match in this video for you guys. So I'll see you there. All right, we're here with one final game. My opponent has a really cool team. He's running like snow, but uh, with some really unique stuff. He has Primarina, Como, O, Tinkaton, which is really unique. Uh, Fluttermane, Alolan, Ninetales, Ogre Pond, Waterform. Actually, Galvantula looks pretty good here. I actually think I, I'm going to try to bring the Galvantula. It's the last game. I'm going to try to bring it. I'm going to try to bring the Galvantula here, and hopefully it does something. I think the Registeel looks really good here, too. Like, what does his team even do to Registeel at all? What does he even do to me? I don't know. Like, especially if he gets set up. I'm max spadef, too, on this thing. Like, what does he even do? Do Flutter main doesn't do shit to me? I think I just bring Registeel here, That's if I'm being real. What else do I bring? I think Laudius actually looks pretty good here, mainly for the Como O. And I, it kind of walls Ogre Pond, which is pretty good. And then I don't know if I should bring Entei here, if I should bring the, the Landorus. Uh, I don't know, he has a lot of stuff on, on this team that can actually kind of do with Landorus. I think I'm gonna bring Lando though. I think Landis can be, Lando can be pretty good, especially if I tear up Poison. It can be pretty solid. If I were my opponent, I think they're going to bring the Nine Tails. I think they're going to bring Como O, Flutter Main, and then probably Ogre Pond. At least that's what I would do. I don't know if they'll bring Tinkaton or the Pre Marina. But then again, I, I don't know if they, they probably don't take Galvantula as a threat, so they'll bring all the water types. He actually brings the Tinkaton too, so it doesn't matter. He has Mold Breaker. It doesn't, I don't know if that really does anything here. He's Air Bloon. Air Balloon Tinkaton, that's a new one. I'm gonna throw up my sticky web. I'm gonna throw up the sticky web. 
I mean, I can protect here too. I can actually just double protect on this turn, I think would be really good. Because I think he's going to fake out. So I'm just going to double protect here and see what he wants to do. Or try to throw up the webs. I think the webs would be pretty good here. Does have fake out. Goes after the Reggie Steel, so that's good. Let's see what the Fluttermane has for me. Dazzling Gleam. Okay, so you get pretty much completely walled by Reggie Steel. That's good. I actually think a Heavy Slam will just straight up one shot the Fluttermane. So if I really want to, I can probably just go right away just for the Heavy Slam. Because I think this ends up just getting a free kill. I'm going to throw my webs here, though. I really want to set up. I really do. But I think I, I'm just going to try to get rid of the Flutter main right away. That almost just one shot the Galvantula. I get the webs up. If anything, at least the Galvantula got webs. I think it's dead here, though. It's about to get knocked back. Goodbye. Didn't really do anything apart from webs. Hopefully those webs come in clutch later in the game, because... He's actually Sash. Sash Flutter. I don't know, so he has Fake Out. And I'm assuming probably uh, Gigaton Hammer. I don't know what his last move really is. Usually if they're running like coverage, usually I think they run Knock Off. Or like Protect, I'm assuming he probably has. I don't know. I don't have Protect on this, so I'm forced to go into Lando here. I need to have another turn to where I can take out the, the Flutter main on this next turn. So I'm, I'm going to protect here. And then I'm going to have a slam again. He might actually swap, but he's going to stay in. That's another thing, I guess, about the sticky web. It kind of dissuades people from swapping. It, it's not really the greatest thing if they have like a Defiant or a competitive mod, but like this guy has none of that stuff. So he, if he wants to swap out, he's going to be taking a speed drop. And like being that the Landorus is really good, especially he actually has stealth rocks. Okay. That is really fucking crazy because I haven't seen that in forever. I know it gets rocks, but usually uh, you're only throwing up rocks to take a ton of like singles. You ain't using that in doubles. I don't know, that doesn't do anything for me though because I'm not switching anytime soon. And I have Laudius in the back, which doesn't really care about rocks, so whatever. Free turn, a uh, free kill pretty much. Free Marina, that's bad. That is bad. I think what I'm doing here is I, I tear a poison. I'm gonna tear a poison on this turn, predicting a water type move, and then I'm gonna sludge this thing, sludge bomb this thing back into oblivion, and then I think I'm gonna start setting up here. I'm gonna iron defense. I don't know what I don't think Tinkaton has anything for me. I think they usually get a fighting move. I think they get brick break and like low kick. Maybe I'm not sure if they even get low kick. I know they get brick break, but. Assuming this guy has Stealth Rock, I don't even think he has anything to touch me. He has probably Fake Out, Stealth Rock, Gigaton Hammer, and Play Rough, so he probably gets walled by the Bridge of Steel. That actually one-shots Pre-Marina. I did not expect that. He has Gigaton Hammer. How much is going to do to me? That's a 2-hit KO, but like he can't use it anymore. I think the Registeel just sets up here and wins. I, I don't know what he has for Registeel. I'm assuming his last mod is probably Como O. He doesn't have Protect on the Tinkaton either, so this next turn he's getting knocked back by an Earth Power. He does have Como O, so that's great. And he gets caught in the Sticky Web. So now I think, I don't know if the Registeel will be able to outspeed him, but... I'm assuming if he's going to Terra, he's going to Terra the Como O. I'm assuming that's probably what he's saving it for, but I, like, I'm just going to set up anymore again. I don't know if he's just, he's going to surrender. He's going to surrender the game. Wow. I don't know why he would surrender there unless he's... I don't know what Terra type he was. just comes down to what Terra he was. I feel like that's a little bit too early to surrender. Like, I, I know the Tingatone probably would have died there, but it just depends on what Como O he was. I'm assuming because he surrendered, he was probably like a, a Dragon Dance or a Body Press setup variant. And he seemed like that the, the Registeel was already at plus two. So he was like, yeah, there's no way I'm winning. But with how much damage he's probably going to have taken before he's able to set up or even do anything, he probably thought he was going to lose anyways. I'm assuming that's why he forfeited, but not even bad. Another game, another showcase of the, the Landris Iron and the Registeel putting in some work. And then the, the, whip, the Galvantula getting those uh, mandatory webs down. Granted, they didn't really help that much, but still, it's about all it really did, fortunately. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this team. 
As for this team, I think this team is really fun. I think my actually my biggest gripes with this team, actually funny enough, is actually the Galvantula. At least even in like a lot of the games you guys probably seen, or like I did a few testing games with this team as well. And I brought the Galvantula to a few of those games. And the majority of the time to those games, I just got walled by a lot of grass types. I feel like this Galvantula would have been a lot better off with like a bug type move. I know why it's on this team, it's just mainly more of a supportive mod to throw on this team. Just mainly get up webs and throw out a few thunders and thunder wave before it goes down. But I feel like having like a the bug buzz or like some type of bug move on this team would have been or on this golf handle would have been really good. Just mainly just because you get walled by grass types. That's just the main thing. And considering you're Terra Grass, you can also tear into a grass type and kind of like negate their moves. So like you'd be able to get some super effective damage on them while they wouldn't really be able to touch you. Could have been really good, but Overall, I think Govanch is a really cool Mon. It unfortunately, just got added to the game at a really bad time. I think that was just the main problem with it. I thought it was going to be really good too when, before the DLC dropped. And then we got all this other new shit like Raging Bolt and like all the other like Paradox Mons being legal for this Regulation F format. And even a bunch of other stuff that came back. A few other different Electro types and that type of thing that just kind of outshadowed this thing. Kind of sucks, but I think it could be a lot better in singles. I think it has a lot more potential there because it's a, a really solid sticky websiteer when there's only stuff like Ribombi and like Smeargle, and there's a few other slower ones that actually set up webs. So there's not many sticky websiteers, and Galvantula is one of the better ones. So at least as a niche in singles, if anything. Porsche is not that good in doubles. I think if you want a real MVP, which I might actually just make this entire video revolving around, is actually the Registeel. This thing's crazy. I think we're going to see Registeel as more of like an underrated, like off meta type pick because I think it's actually really, really good. There are not many people are actually prepared for the Registeel. If you can set up like a one plus two iron defense or even like up to plus four, if they have nothing to hit you for super effective damage, especially with this build, like running max HP, max spadef, like that pretty much kind of similar to EV spread to that mainly, it's just crazy. And you can't lower its stats either with Intimidate. It gets the leftovers back, and you also sometimes you compare it alongside the Latias for the like the heal pulse, at least with this team, and kind of sustain it and kind of negate it with fake out and like damage reduction with snarl and that type of thing on this team. Makes it put in a shit ton of work. I don't know if I'll include in this video, but there was a game where I went against Deoxys, and I think I was at like plus two or plus four. And body press just one shot at Deoxys, which I did not expect at all, so. Really solid mon. I think if there was an MVP for this team, I'd probably say the Registeel took MVP. Uh, it put in so much work in like every single game I brought it to, so that's cool. I'm great to see that at least. Aviante really good. The only problem with the Aviante is I felt like it kind of lacked a little bit of damage. I'm not 100% sure on the EV spread for this thing. I forgot to check, but kind of lacked a little bit of damage apart from Sacred Fire, which I didn't really care for. I'm just more of a fan of like Bandit or like Life Orb Ante though. That's just personally me and my preference. Incineroar is Incineroar, you bring it and it always does something. Landorus is great if you bring it and your opponent does not prepare for it, it's just really weak to it, it just puts in a shit ton of work, and that's kind of where it is right now, at least currently. And then Laudius, actually, I think out of all the teams that I've played, at least rental code teams, or like sessions we had recently that had Laudius on, I think it's probably the best one I've played, at least put in some work. A lot of the other ones that had Laudius on the team didn't really do much, so that's kind of where it is. Mainly you're going to be pairing this thing alongside the Registeel or like Dante or something else on this team to kind of more of a supportive mon, kind of, so. You guys want a really fun team, rental code up in the corner, go check it out. Really solid team, I had a lot of fun playing this team, so. Apart from that, I'm going to get out of here, thanks for watching everybody, I got a bunch more stuff on the way, so if you are new and have not subbed yet, subscribe down below and leave a like, really appreciate it and share the video. Peace out everybody, thanks for watching.